Hello there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing another all trades accepted, accepting all trades, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to be using the Bristol Blades again. This time it's all alumni teams though, and I think I'm going to do the auto expansion draft just to see what kind of team they can actually draft. But uh, yeah, let's find out. I'm very curious. I didn't even really think about this as a possibility, so yeah, I'm very intrigued to see where this goes. Continue. And owner mode, we don't want that on contract here. Yes. Uh, no thank you. No thank you. No thank you. Yeah, that can be a thing. Seattle. Well, Seattle isn't in the league, mate. So how does that work? I'll just turn it off for now. And what else am I going to do? There's something else I had to do, but I can't remember what it is. You know what? Hold on. One minute. I just want to make sure that every team is an alumni. Just to make sure I didn't miss out on someone. Oh, the Capitals! Okay. Okay, so there is one missing there. Alright, I kind of thought so. So, good thing they actually had that setting on and I had to read it because otherwise it would have been a big mishap. Okay, fair enough. Washington Capitals alumni are there, but so are the Washington Capitals. Which means I can put in one of these two and... I believe we went with Hartford last time, so I'm going to put in the North Stars this go and back to bristol boom okay here we go continue we should be all set up this time yep and no thank you yes no 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 uh nope and yeah okay we are good to go let's do it start that career do we get like a a static draft pick position because i do not see us on here again Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, I know. It's the expansion draft. All right, here we go. Just to make sure it is. Yep, it is, in fact, all alumni players. Okay, well, I am going to do what I said I was going to do. Auto-generate picks. Boom. Who do we get? So we get... Okay, Gooley. I guess maybe he is currently in the AHL. So that could be the reason for that. We get Lemieux Simmer... Uh, okay, Luconan, interesting. Uh, Gary Roberts. Okay, let's let's just um, quickly go through the list here, and then I'll go put the lines together, obviously, after that. 94 overall, Jacques Plant. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I wonder if our team is even going to be competitive. By the looks of it, maybe. <laughs> but I don't have super high hopes. Okay, cool. Let's finish the draft, and... Hopefully start getting some trades. Yeah, we have pick number five, which I think we had last time. So let's sim to pick number five. Boom. The Blades. Who are we going to pick up? Is it going to be... No, this guy's a guaranteed medium elite. So I'm obviously grabbing Benji over here. He looks pretty cool. Similar style to Jumbo Joe. Can't complain. He's NHL ready. Guaranteed to have two abilities. Uh, Yeah, actually, no. Hold on. Let's just let's play it cool for a second here. Ooh, yeah, no. Definitely going with this lad. And he's 78 overall. Not bad. He has three abilities. Can't complain. All right, nice. And we're probably the first <laughs> person to not have an X factor. But yeah, whatever. It is what it is. They're not really going to get to play anyway. So I'm just going to sim the entire draft. Only the first pick is kind of important, which they probably would have picked him anyway. Nugent Hopkins as well. All right, I see you. Here we go. Hopefully, we get a lot of trades. But let's sim to the resign phase, which, again, we shouldn't have to worry about because of the fact that I added that contract here. So we should be good in any cases where that would be a factor. All right. I think we're okay. Nice. Yep. And just double check on the goalies. Yeah, we're all good. All right. Cool. And let us sim to free agency. I doubt there's going to be any free agents there because of the contract year thing as well but we can check see if anyone somehow ended up here uh willie o'ree 84 overall we have the cap space i'm gonna try to get him why not all right yeah we only need you for one year and i'll just give you 3.5 boom okay what about goalies actually we definitely do not need goalies so yeah scratch that we got willie that is lovely now Let's see if we get any trades. Yes, we do. Charlie Coyle for a third and a fourth. There you go. 
accept that trade and keep the sim going here. Are we going to get any more throughout the offseason, or is it just going to be that one? Normally, we get a bunch, but right now, we don't seem to be getting a whole lot. Okay. All right. Interesting. I thought we'd be getting more than that, but it is what it is. I wonder what weighs into that, you know, because the other time, we got a whole bunch. Our trading block is probably all set up. Yeah, like we have a 90 overall goaltender. We now have Charlie Coyle on the block. Fifth, sixth, seventh. Surplus, I'm going to just open this right up. I'm going to say uh, defenseman of all kind. Pretty much no one is safe is what I'm getting at here. Uh, goalie, yep. Yeah. Goalie, there you go. And I will remove this one and add it again as even more generic. There you go. So pretty much any forward, any... Where the, what? How does that work? Okay. Maybe it like overlapped or something. There we go. We should be good now. So we got forward, we got goalie, and we got defenseman. Yeah. And I'm going to turn all these on as well. So feel free to trade me for pretty much anything. There you have it. Okay. I love it. So here is our squadron. We got duplicates of Lemieux, but that's okay. We got Adam Graves down here. Ori is going to be on the second line, which... Looks like a solid line for sure. Our first line is a plus two. Defense. Oh, not good. Not good. Is there any way we can make this work? Oh, that's even worse. Okay, let's do that then. Huddy and Murphy can get the plus one. Scott Hannon and Willie Mitchell. Okay, cool. And last but not least, goaltenders. Jacques Plante and Eddie Belfour. Eddie the Eagle. So, let's do this thing, shall we? Uh, defenseman, yeah. Okay, we're all good. Hopefully... We get some trades. I have a feeling that we will, but who really knows? I just realized I forgot to turn injuries off, so I should probably do that ASAP. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Turn those off, and now we should be good to go. We still only have that one trade. Breaking news. Okay, the Buffalo Sabres have already fired their head coach very early on in the year, and we are not off to the best start in the world, but... Also, not the worst. It could be much more unfortunate. So I'll take it. There we go. All right. Another trade. Willie, no! Aw. I almost want to decline it, but I can't. I can't. It's part of the series, part of the video. Accept all trades. There you go. And let's just do best roster. And hopefully they set it up properly. But based on what they did with the defense... Probably not going to happen. Okay, yeah, I wanted to double check to see if our trading block had been updated, but it looks okay. Let's put this guy on the block. Spice things up a little bit here. Who else can we put out there? I guess it doesn't really matter. I could put anyone out there. All right, Graves, you look like you want to be on the block. And let's put Murphy out there. There you go. Okay, that is the changes to our trading block. The Ducks have fired their head coach now. Okay, so... If you're going alphabetical, it's looking rough up top, but yeah, we are sort of falling into that category. Uh, Mike Knubel for Hill, and a fourth and a fifth. All right, accept, and assistant GM, best roster. So that is now three trades. Not nearly as many as when we did the regular expansion draft, but nonetheless, still got... Three trades in there. Might get one more before the deadline here, but I... Oh, we do. All right, there you go. Miranov and a second for Henning. There you go. Except. Sure, we have to call up Nylander and best roster. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'm assuming... That is not it. We're also getting Ward and a second in exchange for Graves. Okay. Cool. Veselainen has to come up now. Best roster... There you have it. Okay, we we're at the deadline. And we are going to be a buyer, I suppose. I don't know. Let's enter the deadline. See who's available here. We get Eddie, which is, you know, our goalie. So he is the best person on the block right now. Um, Mike Vernon is there. Okay, what about... Oh, he's a goalie too. We don't really need goalies. LaFontaine. Maybe. Might be worth, because there's a lot of goalies here. He's like the only player. Let's see if we can get him. Why not? Oh, wait. Someone uh, told me a little trick of the trade if you do something. It's, um... Wait, what happened? Okay. Is it LaFontaine, or is he still there? 
I think he's still there. So let's do fine trade. Is it this one? So they want Nylander uh, and two firsts. Okay. Or our draft pick and two seconds. And that's it. Okay. I'll get rid of... Um, well, we kind of need Nylander. I think he's actually on the team right now. So let's get rid of our draft boy in two seconds. Boom. There you go. All right. That's probably about it. Let's blow this popsicle stand. All right, I'm making that move again, moving Huddy back up with Murphy. So we have that going for us. Ooh, that would have been nice, but... That actually moves the line two chemistry up a bit, but he shoots left, shoots right. Okay, so we'll leave it for now. Yeah, offense. There you go. And we still have Plunt and Belfour. I'm thinking our chances of making the playoffs are pretty low, but holy, we're going on a bit of a rip here. And as I say that, we... Lose to the Oilers, but two more wins in overtime. We take those. We really do. We might be clawing back here slowly. We still need to have quite the run here in the last week or two. But yeah, no, I think we're done. Even if we win these last... Oh, nah. I don't even think so. Well, it was a good effort nonetheless. We definitely tried. Yeah, I mean, we ended up being pretty close because we had 90. So if we had another win and an overtime loss, we'd be up there with Calgary. So it's not like... You know, look how tight this division was holy there was a five point difference between seventh and second that is insane all right entire league so montreal gonna take home the president's trophy good for them let's go through the teams here find out if it was top 16 it was not we got 17 and we have 20 the new york rangers making it in okay there you have it if we go now to the individual player stats we can see that lafontaine Led our team for points with 66. We got Apps. I'm not really sure who this guy is, but interesting. He got 59. Uh, Clark in 82 games. I don't know why I said in, and then I had to correct myself there. But, it, you know, we had injuries off, so of course he played 82 games. Anyway, he got 55. Roberts, 53. And same with Red. All right, let's just go through the whole team here. Nice. How'd the goalies do? Goaltenders. We got a 9-10 from Plant, 293. And Belfour put up a 9-23, 254. One shutout for Eddie and two for Jacques. Now, head over to the entire league, shall we? Patrick Waugh leading the charge for the Montreal Canadiens with a 921 save percentage and a 236 GAA. He absolutely lit it up. Belfour on Dallas did better than ours. At least, I mean, he got wins. Ours was sort of, you know, the backup. Can't really count that. But, uh, yeah, there's the goaltenders. Let's have a look. I always press the wrong one. Defense. Coffee put up 87 points. That's very solid, sir. And he also put up 79 points. Uh, Potvin put up 80. There you go. Let's check out the forward, shall we? Wayne Gretzky, 110. Wayne Gretzky, 101. Wayne Gretzky, 85. But we also have a Brett Hull up there as well with 97. Mario with 96. Just going to quickly go through Montreal's lines here to show you guys the team. Yeah, they are ridiculously stacked. So it does check out that they did quite well this year. Goalies, they got 96. Patrick Waugh and... Yeah, their backup isn't too bad either. Okay, well, let's sim the playoffs and find out if Montreal will win the Presidents and the Stanley Cup or if another team will go home with the Stanley Cup in their hands. Well, Montreal is not even in the conference finals and Detroit goes on to win the Stanley Cup. Good for them. Let's have a look at who got the trophy, shall we? I guess I could quickly go over Detroit's lines too, but probably already know. I'll show them anyway, though. You can't really go to view lines anymore after the year is done, sadly. But you can come here and go... Where'd they finish in the entire league? They ended up finishing third. So they did well as well. And here's their line. So, yeah. How Marcel and Robitaille on the first line. Lindsay, Iserman, Hall. They have a good team, to say the least. Lidstrom and Chelios. Yeah. Can't, uh, <laughs> can't say they don't have a good team because, holy, what a squad. Well, time for the awards. 
We know that Detroit won the Stanley Cup. We know the Presidents went to Montreal. And LA made it to the finals to play against the Detroit Red Wings. Wayne Gretzky with the Art Ross and the Hart. Paul Coffey gets the Norris. Gretzky with the Lady Bing. Look at this guy go. What a legend. I actually don't know how to pronounce his name. Is it? I think his <laughs> name's like Martin or something. But anyway. Um, yeah, that guy that sometimes pans out in franchise mode and sometimes doesn't. Won the Calder for the North Stars. How with the... Con Smythe, Sawchuk with the Vesna and the Jennings. Ramage with the Masterton. Nash gets the Jack Adams. Gretzky with the Selkie, the Ted Lindsay, and Mario getting the Rocket Richard. boy. Here's the playoff tree. Montreal did, in fact, sweep the Rangers in round one, but then the eventual Stanley Cup winning Detroit Red Wings took them out in six in the conference semifinal. So, yeah, that was pretty fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. I didn't even really think about doing an alumni expansion draft but that was <laughs> that was very cool to see that that's an option so keep that in mind for the future but yeah thank you guys for watching i appreciate you and i will see you soon